Hello, crazy vapor fans. <clears throat> so anyway, I uh, did harvest the peppers this year. Uh, these are come from my work. The garden center had some extras that grew on the plants that never sold. I do have a couple of green ones that actually got rather large. I'm going to open these up and see if they actually have viable good seeds in them. Um, I do have three big ones here that should have some good seeds in it. And I'm going to save seeds from three of the others. But I'm going to get some off of him. He looks pretty gnarly too. Some of these are been off the vine for a little bit. Others just come off. Like that one I just picked. So, <clears throat> no, me or, me or the wife did. So, I'll just show you. I, I do a fast de-seeding. I don't sit here and try to get everything off the seed. Take the seed placenta out. Let them dry. And then you can crumble them up out of the uh, placenta later. Okay, so. First thing you do, you pull your stem off. Probably should have a That way, none of the juices get. Yeah, so open it up. A few good seeds in there. Like I said, I'm not too worried about. Look a little funky for seeds, but and yes, crazy vapor is wearing gloves. Hold the center. Just go ahead and bring that out. These this year don't seem to have very much placenta wall. Not like they did last year. But. I said, I don't try to break the seeds up off the wall. I don't feel the need to. Let them dry. And then you can crumble them up and get your seeds out of there. And quite a few seeds in that one. Okay, I notice there is a little dark spot there. I am going to go ahead and remove that. That does not even look good. Let's add some of these. A little old. Ok, 
Okay, so this is gonna get a little bit of mold and something like rat. It's alright. Uh, to dehydrate my seeds, I normally put them in the oven for a couple days. At as low as setting, and I think this one is at like 200. Now, cut out that little black spot again. Now we cut out the whole bottom part. And see, you can just fillet these open a little bit. Not touch space. Oh, <clears throat> this one's mighty small but powerful. I don't have very many seeds in it. Good thing. I'll just take the placenta out. Okay, one more little one. I can I can feel it coming through a little. Actually, good if you wear gloves because it happens when you strip them out pretty quick. Now this is a green one. Hopefully it's got some viable seeds in it. Hopefully it's got a bunch. Oh, yeah. oh look at that one. Wow. This one's got a ton of seeds. I like it. I like it a lot. And this one is very, very pungent. This one open again. This one's got more surface area. Right. If I'm at it, and not very many seeds, so let's see what more we got. This one's already got a little black on it. It might be black all the way in. Quite right. a few little seeds to it. Pop that sucker out like a zip. This one's pretty squishy. I'm worried about this one. I may have to throw this one out. No, nope, she is still good. Yes. Pew. Because I got a lot of peppers I'm handling. Want to touch one? No. Take it. I'm not stupid. <laughs> uh, this is the one that has a hole in it. Let's see what it looks like. Seeds look viable. Weren't the seeds what's hot? Hmm? Weren't the seeds what's hot? No. Oh. The seeds are not hot, but this white right here 
-huh. And all this, all this white and inner, you know, it's called the placenta, and that's what's actually hot. Right. Now, okay. when everyone says because the seeds are hot, because this is also the placenta too, but the seeds are stuck to. Uh -huh. So they might get some of that that still has seeds attached to it, and it's way hotter, and so they think that the seeds are hot. And honestly, there is quite a bit of oil on these. So, yeah. The seeds are just covered with it, but it's not that they're actually hotter themselves. Put that little hole out. Only found one, a couple of them that had a little black spot in them. Dummy. But that's all you do with your peppers. Uh, put them in like this on your pan and 125 up to around 200 on a pan. Don't oil it or nothing. And uh, you can put the seeds in there. Let's see what's in there. It's green. Yeah, it's green. The uh, And just uh, like every every now and then, every few hours, see if they're uh, crunchy or not. They're still leathery. You got a few seeds. Eat it. No. Yeah. Why not? Cause chicken. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me. No, I'm just getting seeds out and. Oh, that's a big one. No, it's not. This is a big one. This is a big one. That's a habanero. I don't want to grow those. Well, where'd you get these? From work. They had some plants out in the garden area that didn't uh, sell. Oh. Eat that. Hmm? Eat that. No, they're seeds. But, there you go, guys. That's how you do it. I'm going to keep doing this. Got the oven heating up. Uh, probably the rest of these I won't. No, you don't. Oh, I don't? Oh, I thought I did. No. Sorry. Don't lie. I didn't lie. I misspoke the truth. Don't you lie. Now my house is going to stink. Mm-hmm. Mm, look what I got. What you got? Ice cream. Mm. Heard that Reaper's good with, uh, ice cream. Mm hmm? Hmm? I ain't stupid. I might be retarded, but I ain't stupid. Let's see, this is uh, all black. I'm not even going to try to save this one. That what? One's in... so that one's all black. Ew. Yeah. Well, all right, guys. I'm going to go. Uh, yeah, go ahead and you got peppers drying like that. Or if you have a food dehydrator, that works even better. I don't have a dehydrator. So it's the oven it is. Lower setting is that your oven can do.